All right, all right. Uh, should be the last video that we see, hopefully. Uh, so today we're going to be working on the nine weeks review. So please make sure that you take good notes. You're going to turn these notes into the sub at the end of the class, but you're more than welcome to take a picture of them so you have something to review uh, for when you take the real deal. You'll be taking your real deal on the, uh, I believe it's like the 20, uh, 20th and 29th. Or, yes, 28th and 29th of uh, September. So make sure that you are, you know, ready to take that test. The better notes you take, the better you will do, right? So first concept that you're going to see on the nine weeks test is slope. Now I'm going to start off very general, right? So the first thing we're doing with slope is that slope is consisting of four major ways. We have positive slope where we have a line that is increasing from left to right, right? We have a negative slope. Negative slope is seen as a line that is decreasing from left to right. We have a slope of zero. A zero slope is a horizontal line that is going from horizontal from left to right. And lastly, we have a slope of undefined. And this is a vertical line, right? So those are the two main slopes, or I'm sorry, those are the four main slope types, positive, negative, zero, and then defined, right? And again, slope here is positive. It's a positive number. Here, slope is negative. It's a negative number. Slope here of zero means that slope is zero. We're not rising. And slope is undefined means that we have a rise but no run. Think it back to a fraction. Undefined means that we have a number divided by zero, which doesn't really make sense. All right. So what did these look like on a slope intercept form? So let's go ahead and see that. All right. So slope intercept form. Uh, we're we'll doing some examples, right? So here, suppose we have y equals 3x plus 5. All right. So pretty standard. My y intercept is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And my slope is 3. Remember, it's 3 over run. 1, rise over run. So I'm going to go up 3 units. 1, 2, 3. I know it goes into a little bit of this graph here. Let me redo this. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There it is. Here's my 5. So again, rise is 3. 1, 2, 3. My run is 1. There it is. So again, as you can see, my rise was three, one, two, three, my run was one. So that is three X plus five. Now suppose we have a negative slope, Y equals negative two X plus two. And here we have my Y intercept, positive two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four. My Y intercept is two. There it is. My slope is a negative 2, which is a rise over run, negative 2 over 1. So my rise goes down 2. My run goes positive 1. So it's down 2, 1, 2 over 1. So here's my next point. And we just connect our dots. See, so that is how, again, we use our slope, positive and negative, to be able to graph the line. Well, what about a different scenario? What about when we have y equals 5? Right? Well, remember, yes, this doesn't look like slope intercept, but it actually is slope intercept. Because if we look at slope intercept, well, what is your slope? Well, first of all, we know that slope m is always next to the variable x. Well, how many x's do you see here? You actually don't see anything. Right, my slope is actually zero because there is no x. So I can actually write this as this, and the answer is yes. There it is. Notice how here, mx plus b means that my slope is actually zero. So when I go to graph this, well, my y intercept is five, one, two, three, four, five. But look at your slope. Well, what is slope? Slope. 
if I write this as a fraction, it's actually 0 over 1, which means what? I am rising 0, but I am running 1. Well, here, if I don't rise anything, if I just run over 1, well, there it is. I just connect my two points. There it is. See, so a slope of 0 is a horizontal line. That is why it's a horizontal line, because I am not rising anything. I am only running. Now, let's look at this graph here. Right? One, two, three, four. Well, what do you see here? Well, again, let's try to break this down, right? If we want to write this in slope intercept, y equals mx plus b. First of all, do we even have a y intercept here? The answer is no. All right? So, again, these are four different problems, right? Like four different uh, scenarios here. So again, this was the first one, positive slope. This is the second one, negative slope. This is the slope of zero. Now, when you look at this one, right? Well, do we have a y-intercept? No. So remember, this is y equals mx plus b, where b is your y-intercept. But if there's no y-intercept, can we have an equation that goes through the y-axis? Does it? Will it cross the y-axis? Looking at this, the answer is no. So for this special case, notice how we can't even write this in y equals. This is actually an x equals scenario. Another reason why this can't be y equals mx plus b, we just said that the b is non-existent, right? Look, this line doesn't cro cro cross the y-axis. So there's no b, it doesn't exist. What about m? Well, look, pick two points here, right? Here and here, right? It doesn't matter, you could do this as a positive four. What is your rise, right? Or what is your run? Well, for here, one, two, three, four could be your rise, right? So if you look at slope, your rise was four, but how much are we running? How much did we go from left to right? The answer is actually zero. Now, if you punch this in your calculator, this is actually a big no-no. You get an undefined, which means this doesn't exist. You can't divide it by zero. So notice how when we divide by zero, we get what is called undefined, which means we can't divide it. It doesn't exist, right? Like it's it's undefined. So how do we write this equation? Well, it actually becomes x equals because this graph is crossing the line at x equals negative 4. All right? So be very careful and be ready for that on the test. All right, all right? So those are the two first major concepts. Concept number three. We need to be able to graph standard form equations, or 3-5. Now, unfortunately for you, your calculator cannot do this. So make sure you know how to do this. What are you going to do to graph this equation and this equation? Negative 4x plus 2y equals eight now if you guys remember from three to five if i how do i graph this well we actually graph uh standard form linear equations by finding the x and y intercepts so to find the y intercept we let x equal zero to get the y intercept and then we let y equal zero to get the x intercept all right. So remember, whenever I'm going to graph this, I can graph this by finding the x and y intercept. So to, let, uh, to get the y intercept, I let x equal zero. So look, on this equation here, I let x equal zero. So I get two times zero minus six y is equal to 12. And I solve for y. Two times zero is zero. So I get negative six y is equal to 12. How do I get y by itself? I divide by a negative six. So I'm left with y equals 12 divided by negative 6 is a negative 2. There's my y-intercept. How do I get my x-intercept? Well, we let y equal 0. So we'll take this equation. But this time, the y is 0. Well, look, negative 6 times 0 goes away. So I'm left with 2x equals 12. To get x, we divide by 2. x equals 6. So look, when we go to graph this, there it is. 
My x-intercept is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. My y-intercept is a negative 2. And bam, there's my equation. All right? Again, I'm going to do this again one more time on this side you now. This equation. Again, to get the y-intercept, we let x equal 0. So we let x equal 0 to get the y-intercept. So you write this equation, and wherever you get x, you replace it with 0. So I get negative 4 times 0 plus 2y is equal to 8. Negative 4 times 0 goes away, so we're left with 2y equals 8. To solve for y, I'm going to divide by 2, so I get y equals 4. Now to get our x-intercept, we let y equal 0 to get the x-intercept. All right, so... I get this equation, I let y equal 0 now, so I get negative 4x plus 2 times 0 equals 8. 2 times 0 goes away, so I'm left with negative 4x equals 8. To solve for x here, I divide by a negative 4. x equals negative 2. There it is. My x intercept is negative 2, 1, 2. My y intercept is positive 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There it is. Right? So that is one way to be able to do this. Is that how much time we have here? All right? And lastly, the other way we could do this, which is a little bit different, but I'm going to talk about it here anyways is solving each one of these equations for y. So from here, can we solve each one for y? Yeah, right, and we can actually grab this in our calculator. But the first thing we need to be able to do is solve for y correctly, all right? Now again, how do I solve for y here? I need to get y by itself. What do I do first? I subtract 2x from both sides. Again, we're trying to get y by itself. And me doing that, 2x minus 2x cancels, so I'm left with negative 6y. Here, I cannot combine, so I'm left with negative 2x plus 12. How do I get y by itself here? I divide by a negative 6. So I'm left with y equals 1x over 3 minus 2. So we can do the same thing on this one. We need to get y by itself. And then to get rid of this negative 4x, I'm going to add 4x plus 4x. So I'm left with 2y is equal to 4x plus 8. To get y by itself, I divide by 2. y is equal to 2x plus 4. Now, I know you're probably thinking, like, oh, my gosh, that's so difficult. But that is the same thing we did here, except here. On the bottom, you found slope and y-intercept. But look, it's the same thing. All right, I'm going to show you. My y-intercept here is negative 2, negative 2. My slope is 1 over 3. Look, it's rise 1, 1, 2, 3. Rise 1, 1, 2, 3. You see that? So again, one way is doing it on whatever, you know, doing it here graphically. The other way is solving for y. They are both correct. Look, my y-intercept here is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. What is my slope? 2 over 1. Rise 2, run 1. There it is. So as you can see, both methods work. You do whatever you're more familiar with. So I highly suggest you just do this method on top since it is a little bit easier for you. If you can solve for y, by all means, do these methods. That also works for you.